Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to add LinkedIn leads to Google Sheets. So are you also promoting your business with the help of LinkedIn lead ads? Then this video is definitely for you. So over here, I'm doing the same and I wish that as soon as a new LinkedIn lead is received, automatically the details of that lead should be added to my Google Sheets too. For this, we are going to create a connection between LinkedIn lead ads and Google Sheets. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So if you also wish to learn this process step by step, follow me through the screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to learn how to add LinkedIn lead ads to Google Sheets. For this, I've already opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we'll open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here. And now it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation, I'm going to click on this button right over here which says create workflow. And now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which says automations and I want to name my workflow as how to add LinkedIn leads to Google Sheets. And then we are going to click on this button which says create. And now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens, an action means do this. By this, you can understand that the trigger is the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands. And as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers. So over here, we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger. So now I'm going to select my trigger application which is LinkedIn Legion Forms because I want that as soon as a new Legion Form submission is made in my LinkedIn account, automatically my workflow should be triggered so i'm going to search for linkedin lead gen forms and then we are going to select it and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as new lead gen form response and now we are going to click on connect and as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your linkedin lead gen form account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with linkedin lead gen forms and yes, you can see that we have successfully connected our LinkedIn Legion Forms account with our Pabli's workflow. This connection was very easy because I have already logged in my account. So it is always advised to log in your applications before starting with the automation. And now it is asking me for the account. So I'm going to select it as this only. And now it is asking me for the lead form. So I'm going to select the lead form as sample lead gen form because I want to create this automation only for this lead gen form. If you wish to create this automation for any another particular lead gen form, you can select it and now as you can see that i've selected my legion form also and now i'll let you know that linkedin legion form is a pooling based application which means that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes so pooling based application means that this trigger will not check for new data instantly it will take some amount of time to check for the new data and over here in the case of linkedin legion form it will take 10 minutes to check for new data so now if i'm going to click on save and send test request it will capture the latest response made in my LinkedIn Legion form. So first we have to do a test submission and then we have to click on save and send test request. So to make the test submission I'm going to open my LinkedIn account and as you can see that this is my campaign manager and over here you can see Pabli Connect so I'm going to open this and over here you can see that this is my campaign which is in draft mode so I'm going to open this and yes, you can see that this is the R and over here is the option to click on apply now. So over here, you can see that I'm only getting the option to fill in the email address and the phone number because my campaign is in draft mode. So if your campaign is in live mode, your leads will get the option to fill in all the details. But over here, my campaign is in draft mode. That's why I can only enter the email address and the phone number. So I'm going to enter it first. So for the email, I'm going to keep it as demo at the rate pablitudes.com. And for the phone number, I'm going to keep it as this and now after entering both the details i'm going to click on submit 
and yes you can see that we have successfully did this submission so now i'm going to open my workflow and now we are going to click on save and send test request so that public can capture the response of the submission we made just now and yes you can see public has captured the response over here is the email address that we entered we are going to move on forward and over here we are going to see the number that we entered so i'm going to show you the number over here you can see the same over here you can see the first name and the last name So with this, our trigger step is successful. But before moving on to our action step, I'll let you know that this trigger will check for new data in ten minutes. But if you wish to reduce or increase this time, you can go on this three dots, and then we are going to go on set trigger time. And over here, you can see that you can set the trigger time maximum as twenty four hours and minimum as ten minutes. So you can now select any desired time between this. So I'm going to select it as ten minutes only, and then we are going to click on save. And yes, you can see that we have successfully kept it as ten minutes. With this, our trigger step is successful, and now we are moving on to our action step. For our action application, we are going to select Google Sheets because I want that as soon as a new lead is received in my LinkedIn lead ads, automatically the details of that lead should be added in my Google Sheets too. So I'm going to search for Google Sheets, and then we are going to select Google Sheets. And now it is asking me for the action event, so I'm going to keep it as add new row because I want to add new row over here in my Google Sheet. So that's why I kept it as add new row, and then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see again, it is asking me for the same. So if you have already connected your Google Sheets account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, again you have to follow me. Click on add a new connection and then sign in with Google. And now after selecting my account, it is asking me for some permissions. So I'm going to click on allow and give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with Pabli. You can also click on allow Pabli save. And as soon as you are going to click on allow. You can see that we have successfully connected our Google Sheets account with our Pabli's workflow, and now it is asking me to select the spreadsheet and the sheet. So here you can see the name of my spreadsheet is new leads. So I'm going to select same in my workflow too. So I'm going to search for new leads, and as you can see, same. So I'm going to select it. And as soon as I selected new leads right over here, you can see all the details that we entered in our sheet has been appeared over here too. And for the sheet, I'm going to select it as new responses only because I have only a single sheet in my spreadsheet. So that's why we select it as new responses. And now it is asking me for the first name, email, last name, phone number, and the company. So we are going to map these details. Mapping is a method by Pabli, which means inserting the data from the previous step. And as you know, our previous step was the trigger step where we selected. LinkedIn leads in forms as a trigger application. So we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only. And as soon as we are going to map these details, automatically our details will turn dynamic and change with every new lead received. So I'll give you an example that if for the first name, I'm going to keep it as demo right over here manually. So it will not change with every new lead received because this is a static information now. But if I'm going to map it from the previous response, it will definitely change because my previous response will. Also change, so that's why we do mapping. So now I'm going to search for first name, and as you can see, Pabli. So I'm going to map it. We are going to do same for the last name. So I'm going to search for last name right over here, and as you can see, the last name, which is subscription billing management services. So I'm going to map it, and now we are going to search for email right over here. So I'm going to search for it, and as you can see, the email that we entered demo at the rate Pabli Tutes dot com. So we are going to map it. We are going to again search for phone number. Right over here, so I'm going to search for it, and as you can see, the phone number that we entered has been appeared. So I'm going to map it. We are going to do same for the company over here. We are going to search for company, and as you can see, magnet brain. So I'm going to map it, and now after mapping all these details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And yes, you can see that we have received the positive response that our details have been added in our spreadsheet too. So I'm going to open my Google Sheets and then we are going to check that if the details have been added or not. And yes, you can see the details have been added: first name, Pabli, last name, subscription, billing management services. Over here, you can see the email, the phone number, and the company name. So with this, our workflow is successful. And I'll just test the workflow once. And this time, I'm going to give you a real-time example. So to do this, I'm going to open my form. And over here, we are going to do another test. Submission. For that, I'm just going to refresh this form, and again we are going to click on Apply Now right over here. Again, we are going to enter the email and the phone number. Email as test at the rate publicutes dot com, and for the phone number, I'm going to keep it as this this time. 
and now after entering all the details we cannot change first name last name and company name because my campaign is in draft mode if you are running a live campaign your leads will definitely receive the option to fill in these details and now after just changing the email address and phone number i'm going to click on submit and yes, you can see information sent to Pabli. Thank you for submitting the information. So this means that LinkedIn Leads Inform has sent the details of a submission to Pabli's workflow. Pabli captured the response, triggered the workflow and further added the details in our Google Sheets too. So I'm going to open my Google Sheets and then we are going to check that if the details have been added or not. So this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on save and send test request. So I'm directly going to open my Google Sheets and yes, you can see just the email that we changed and the phone number that we changed have been replaced with the test at the date publitudes.com and the dummy phone number. Rest details are same because we cannot change these details because our campaign is a draft mode. So with this my workflow is successful and I'll just summarize the workflow for you once. For our trigger application we selected LinkedIn lead gen forms. For the trigger event we selected new lead gen form. For the action application we selected Google Sheets and then for the action event we selected add new row because I want it. As soon as a new LinkedIn lead gen form is submitted, automatically the details of that submission should be added in my Google Sheets too. And yes, we were successful with our workflow. Over here, you can see the two rows I added during this video with the help of my workflow, which contained the details we entered in our submission. So if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow, you can directly comment on this video. And for your reference, I'll just clone the workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but with the help of Pabli, you can integrate many more applications. So now, if you have any doubts, you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries, you can reach us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful, do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.